Well, summer is around the corner, and just like us, our lawns are coming out of hibernation as well. If you want golf course green grass, or you just want the bragging rights, the best mm -hmm. lawn on the block, we got some tips and advice from some of the best in the business at the UW Turfgrass Diagnostics Lab. Spring is a good time to think about lawns, and the best thing we do with lawns in the spring is nothing. Um, we okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> we over we over maintain our lawns. I mean, crabgrass is an issue, and crabgrass material at this point should be down and in your lawn. Uh, spring is now the time that most people turn to weed control, and that's coming. Dandelions are coming. We could do some weed control. The key being in spring is we don't want to over maintain our lawn mm -hmm. because summer's going to come in about 60 days from now. It's going to get hot, and we need the lawn to recover from anything we do. So just a little fertilizer. Don't mow it real short. If you got some weeds, take some weeds out. That's kind of what we do in the spring. One of the keys is we want to do weed control in the fall. Our best weed control comes in September and early October. Some of our hardest to get weeds, we really want to control those in October, which is kind of contrary to what everybody does. Can you have a perfectly maintained lawn without a lot of chemicals? Perfectly maintained, there's a loaded question. You can have a very nice looking lawn based on the turf grasses that are in it or what you're willing to do without having a lot of chemicals. We don't have to go overboard with chemicals in lawns. Our turf grasses are pretty resilient. And you're saying this, this lawn here has not been treated? Uh, all we've done with this, this probably had a weed control spray in September, and I don't think it's had any fertilizer in about two years. So what's going on here? You have, you have grass samples, 27 acres here. 27 acres. We've got dandelions over here. <laughs> Not there. What kind of so, research are you doing here? Okay, so what we do is this is 27 acre research facility. All we do is research on turf grass. No corn, no soybeans, no nothing else. And we're trying to do applicable research for homeowners, lawn care companies, golf courses. So like up here on the hill, you've got different amounts of dandelions and plots. These are plots that are five, six years old, different varieties. They're perennial ryegrass, uh, elite Kentucky bluegrasses, turf type tall fescues under different nutrient regimes. And we can see over time that some of them take very little nitrogen and we keep dandelions out pretty well. So this is different kinds of grass. That's, right. what's, that's what's making the dandelion pattern different. Different, well, it's different varieties that in each plot, they're different maintenance regimes. Some have no nitrogen a year. Some have two apps of nitrogen, like Memorial Day, Labor Day, and some have four applications a year, kind of like a lawn care program. Can we see some of these plots up here? Sure. What we have here is the standard Kentucky bluegrass uh, ryegrass blend that you'd find in most home lawns that you'd see. Nice color, nice density. It's something that looks really nice. Beautiful. This is typical of what, we, what you're looking at. This is different. Now, right next to it, a little less color, not as dense, doesn't look as nice. Um, this is one of the fancy grass mixes that you can buy on the internet. That this one's good for everything. It never needs to be watered, never needs to be mowed. Well, this is what it looks like compared to that. So you have to decide if that's, if that's nice enough for you. If that's nice enough for you, right. And the one thing we always tell homeowners and everybody else is that this is dark green, this is light green. No matter how much nitrogen I put on it, that color will never match this. Genetics say this is its color. And this one's a lot lighter over here. This one's a lot lighter over here. This is. Um, uh, a, a low-end turf-type tall fescue blend, kind of like we talked about on weeds. Um, so it's not a bad blend. The ones we recommend are behind you. This will be turf-type tall fescue in combination with Kentucky bluegrass. It will take very little water, takes very little nitrogen, has a nice density, a nice look to it. This is a nice, unless you want that perfect sod-looking lawn, this is really nice. Say it again. This is turf type tall fescues combined with Kentucky bluegrass. Now in the past, tall fescue has had a bad reputation, yep. hasn't in, it? In the past, tall fescue was considered a weed because it's, you know, it's a pasture grass and it would be really coarse, really thick. And then when it grew up, it would lay over like a, where I tell everybody, like a dinner plate. And that's just not acceptable. These new elites have been bred genetically to give us upright growth, some good green color, and they do a really nice job. What's your best tip about fighting dandelions? Best tip on fighting dandelions is deal with them in the spring, and that's fine, but we really want to control them in the fall. In the fall, they'll come up, they'll make a rosette and set a deep tap root. At that point in the fall, when it turns cold, they're going to take all their food and all that they make, and they run it into their roots and their tap root to survive winter, because dandelions are perennial. Well, it takes all that pesticide down and we get good kill. And then in the spring, we gotta clean up a dandelion here or there. Yeah.
What a resource in our own backyard, Absolutely. as it were. Yeah, we, are, we are the best kept secret in turf grass that nobody knows we're here. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. We learned a lot today. It was so interesting, and he was so reassuring about being low maintenance with right. your lawn. You don't have to really fuss at all. Especially now. Yeah. You don't water before June, he said. Right. Because that'll actually do reverse what you're trying to do. Yeah, it was really interesting. And there's been so much debate about not being able to use phosphorus, mm -hmm. and that apparently is much ado about nothing. Killing it with kindness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tall, what was it, tall? Uh, tall lawn. Uh, Fes fescue. No, but I'm missing a word. I'm missing a word. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. sorry It'll come to me. All right. Turf type tall fescue. That's it. Thank there you. Thank you, Steve.